Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Learning Made Free. Recently we started a new series on mathematical concept for school and college going kids which may also be interesting for the grown ups population because many of us grew up cramming lot of mathematical formulae without actually understanding the concepts behind those. The focus of this series will be to understand those concepts so that the retention level is high and a student has to remember less. In today's video we'll understand the formula a plus b whole square. To begin with understanding the formula a plus b whole square, I'll start with a geometrical method. Because I believe the retention span is very high if we learn through any visualization. I'll begin with drawing a perfect square. Adding dimensions to this perfect square. To this square, I have added dimensions as a plus b to each of the sides of the square. If I split this square into smaller pieces, to begin with, one small square with dimensions a of each side. And we know that the area of a square is equal to side square. So the area of this smaller piece of square would come to be a square. Now taking the other small square out of this bigger square with side equal to b, the area of this smaller square would be b square. Now we are left with two small rectangles with sides a and b. And we all know that the area of a rectangle is equal to length into breadth. So the area of this smaller rectangle on the bottom left would come to be a into b. And the area of the other rectangle on top right would come to be again a to b. Now to calculate the total area of this square which was our initial problem. To calculate a plus b whole square we will need to add the area of all these smaller pieces. Now the area of this bigger square a plus b whole square a square plus b square plus ab plus ab. If we solve this equation, it gives us a square plus b square plus 2ab. And this gives us the understanding of the formula a plus b whole square as a square plus b square plus 2ab. Hope you liked today's video. Thanks for watching. If you did like the video, do like, share and subscribe and do write a comment if you want me to make a video on any of the mathematical concepts. Thank you so much for watching.